Hi everybody. Today here I have taken a sphere. My target is to find the surface area of this sphere. So in this regard, let's imagine that this sphere is composed of lot of mini pyramids with smallest base because smallest base will give us the result more compatible with the real surface of this sphere. So here I have to draw a mini pyramids. So let's do that. This is the surface. I mean pyramid base surface area is A. So let's take this pyramid in bigger scale. So it will be clear for us. Now area of the pyramid base we can see here it is A. Now how to find the volume of this pyramid? It will be one third base area multiplied by height. Regarding this height, it is nothing but radius of this sphere. So surely here I wrote H, then I replaced it by R. So one third AR is the volume of the pyramids. Now I shall find the ratio of this area and the volume. So ratio of area to volume. So area pyramid, volume pyramid. Already we got it like A divided by this one third AR. So at an end we got 3 by R. So let's move ahead to see more details of how to reach at our goals. So let's assume that n number of mini pyramids because I have taken here only one pyramid but there will be lots of pyramid and summing all those pyramid base area will give us the total surface area of the sphere. That is I have written here n number of mini pyramid base will cover the total surface area of a sphere. So let's write here for n pyramids. What will be the base area? A multiplied by n. Again for n pyramids, total volume it will be already we know the volume of many pyramids. It was a r divided by 3 so it will be multiplied by n. Now these two results we can write in the form of sphere. Why? Because if we multiply mini pyramid area by n number of mini pyramids for the whole sphere surely it will give us the surface area of i mean total area for this sphere so let's write in that way 
so area of the sphere it is n a volume of a sphere it will be n a r by 3 so cancelling n n a a we get 3 by r so very interesting point here a sphere divided by v sphere equal to 3 by r so from this equation easily we can find a sphere how it is total surface area of a sphere equal to a sphere 3 by r multiplied by v sphere volume of the sphere so this is the important point for this procedure to find the surface area of the sphere we must know the volume of the sphere so we can use this procedure to find the surface area otherwise we have to use other procedure to find the surface area of this sphere so what will be here 3 by r and we know the volume of a sphere it is 4 by 3 pi r cube now cancelling 3 3 r r we get pi r square so our result is 4 pi r square that was our target to get and we got it so we are done